Lots of big news going on in the cruise industry right now to include some sad news. We're going to give you the top five headlines in this video and it's all coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. So subscribe if you love cruising. All right, let's get into this cruise news. There has been a cruise ship fatality. There's several other big headlines as well that we want to share with you to keep you up to date. Coming to you from a little different setting right now, I'm on business travel. I am in Dallas, literally right out my hotel window, right over there is the grassy knoll. And um, anyway, so coming to you from a different setting, but you know how we like to roll. We like to get you the news fast. So let's get you the top five headlines. Number one, the Norwegian Escape has ran aground, but it has now been freed. On Monday afternoon, the Norwegian Escape was departing from Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic and it ran aground on a sandbar. It was a combination of the shallowness of the water in that spot and some of the winds they had. They were stuck there for hours throughout the afternoon and into the evening. It was sometime after midnight when the tugs that were trying to assist the cruise ship were able to get it free. My understanding, all the news we can find as of now and the reports we're receiving from people that are on board is that there's no known damage to the ship that we're receiving right now and other operations just continued as usual. And no one was hurt, so that is a good thing. Number two, the CDC has lowered the travel warning level for cruising. Now this is the second time in this short year so far that this has happened. About a month ago, the CDC lowered the level from level four, which was very high, down to level three, which was the high level. And this resulted in most of the cruise lines removing the requirement for mask in many of the settings on board the cruise ship. Now with this latest level reduction, they have moved it from the level three high level down to the level two moderate level. What level two basically means is that within the last 28 days, the CDC has only seen somewhere between 50 up to 99 cases of COVID-19 per 100,000 passengers. At this level two moderate level, the CDC basically has two recommendations. One is they recommend that all cruise passengers but be up to date with their vaccines. And then secondly, they advise that if someone has increased risk for severe illness, they recommend that they avoid cruising. So it's good news that things seem to be heading in the right direction. For the cruise industry to go down to level number one, they have to get that case count down below 50. So hey, hope that happens soon. Number three, the United Kingdom this week is going to be removing all of their COVID related travel restrictions. This is super news. This Friday, March 18th, those travel restrictions are gone. Pastors entering the United Kingdom will no longer be required to take tests or fill out the pastor locator form. Also, unvaccinated pastors will no longer be required to take a pre-departure COVID test or a day two post-arrival test. And the hotel quarantine, all that stuff, fully stood down. Yay, United Kingdom, love it. Number four, the Carnival Paradise has returned to service. It is selling out of Tampa, Florida. That was its home port before COVID-19 came around and all that mess up came. And it has now joined the Carnival Pride, which started selling out of Tampa in November. So hey, that is the 22nd ship in Carnival Cruise Line's fleet to return to service. More good news, we love it. Yay, Carnival. And number five is the sad news. Norwegian Cruise Line has released a statement that this past Friday, a 31-year-old male guest jumped overboard aboard the Norwegian Breakaway, and they immediately contacted the authorities. Search and rescue ensued, and they have been unable to locate that pasture at this time. It has been four days. The cruise ship was sailing off the coast of Costa Maya, Mexico at the time that this occurred. So definitely we want to be praying for the family and the friends of this pasture during this difficult time. All right, so we wanted to get those headlines out to you now, but there is more information to share and that next video is going to be coming out soon. So be sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. God bless you all and we hope you have a super night.